Greetings, Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope. So, North Node in the first house. Got that desire that has no bottom. And then, your relationship stuff. There's been a lot of difficulties, but it's been a lot about your own karma that's brought in these difficulties. So, being honest about that might make things go better. Otherwise, you might end up in a really weird situation like I did. Where somebody just ghosts you for months and months and months. And, you know, and pretends like they're going to be a friend of yours someday. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> yeah, you know, you'd have to be them to know what the heck they're, they're all about. I'm going to pretend to be a friend to you someday. I mean, why? <laughs> Don't like me now. What makes you think you're going to like me then? <laughs> You know, and it's like, well, we've got Mercury and Mars in your fifth house. So this is helping, you know, this really brings on an energy of loving your children, um, doing activities with them, helping them with both education as well as physical activity and um, also being in your heart more and enjoying life and you know and like i said venus in the seventh house your partnership things are lightening up they should be getting better for you cancer and um you know i, I think the only deal is is that you know sun transiting your um your sixth house it's like you know and and jupiter is moving away this week jupiter is going into your seventh house so you know it's like whether you're a male ca ca a male cancer or a female cancer, this could be where you really get into a better relationship if you're not in one already. Okay. All right.